tired of the same old pizza toppings? Not to worry, a little pizza heaven is serving at unique pies morning, noon, and night. You're gonna love it. Heaven and joining me in the kitchen is Larry, aka Larry Bear. So, Larry, we're gonna make some calzones. Yes, what, we are. What is the trick to making a good calzone? Love. Okay. A lot of love. Bring on the love, yeah. Larry. Right. Bring on the All love. Right. So, I made yours a little, a little extra chunky so that we could get what? any room for mess ups there. What, what, are, you, what are you trying to say, Larry? Uh, <laughs> are you uh, trying to say that I'm. My, I, mine won't be as good as first yours? Timer, first timer, first timer. Okay, well. All right, so we're going to start off with the dough, flatten it out. Okay. All right. I like to let the table kind of catch the dough for me. It does work for us. All right, good to go. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so now we need some sauce. Don't need too much. Well, you need a little more than I do. There we go. I got you a little brush there. Thank you. Circular inside the circle. So now, if you were to go all the way to the corners, like all the way to the edge, then it would be hard to close, right? It would be really hard to close. It will get real sloppy. Uh, and then we'll keep that nice seal and keep everything baked on the inside. Now some cheese. Not bad for a first timer. Oh, well, maybe it's not my first calzone. Uh, all right, so I'll put mine on here too. Like eggplants. We'll Love eggplant. Love eggplant. Little spicy eggplant. We got some spinach here. Okay, so we'll now see. is there a trick for where I should put this to make this calzone close and bake properly? Well, I like to layer off. If I'm doing all my toppings, I like to start from forward to back. Forward, back. Yeah. Back to front. Back to front. Got it. So for me, I'm going to line up pepperoni here. For you, eggplant, you want to line up at the bottom there. Try to keep it close to the edge. Right. Now, for I'm gonna add some spinach. So, some spinach. Okay. where should I put it up there or down here? Yeah, I'm gonna cut. We, we should cut some up first. We, we really? We have to cut it? Okay. Well, if you don't want it, you don't have to. I think we should just throw it on. Sure, I would just put it right towards the end here. Yeah, that's good. We're going for the rustic look yeah, here. Yeah, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. I'll put some ham on mine. We gotta put some spinach for the baby. Make us nice and strong. Yeah. What else would you like? Um, maybe some onion. Some onion? Yeah. Just gonna put a little on there for you. Perfect. And how about some green pepper? Green peppers. There we go. And um, do you have a little feta? I do. Okay. Yeah. Feta is one of my favorites. You got kind of a Greek kind of calzone going on there. I think so. All right, mine's okay. I'm gonna maybe put some mushrooms in here. And I think well, I'm if good we're gonna too. put some mushrooms, a little wine, 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 yeah. So we grab our end. Okay, now, grabbing the end. And I take a little tug. A little tug. A little tug for it, and then flip. There you go, flip. Quick, quick. There you go. All right. Oh my goodness. From this end is to me. end. There you go. This is a serious Looking calzone. Good. That is serious. Okay, so I'm going to put mine on a screen. I usually do this just to give it a little spread out so it gets into the oven better. Do that there. I'm going to let you handle this All big right, boy. Let's see if I can get this thing on there. I'm going to try and maybe just give it a little tuck. Now we give it a little brush of some oil, a little coating. And what? And so this is just olive oil? It's just olive oil, yeah, a little sprinkle. Just give it some color. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Asiago cheese. There we go. Okay, now is the time we've all been waiting for the Calzone Bake Off. So what is yours called? The Mediterranean? Mm -hmm. Meat lover. Meat lover. Okay, and I have the veggie delight here. So um, clearly mine is a lot bigger and, you know, I think maybe a little bit better. I think it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. Okay, so in the oven they go. Here we go. All right. 
So how long are these going to bake for, Larry? These are going to bake for seven minutes at a temperature of 550 degrees. Woo! Okay, seven minutes, and then we get to eat it. My favorite part. Bibs on. Bibs on. Okay, so we have pulled our calzones out of the oven. Our, this is our calzone bake-off, so yep. this is yours, this is mine. I have the veggie, you have the meat-itarian, or meat, meat lover. lovers. Meat lovers, sorry. Okay, so now what do we do? Uh, our finishing touches. They're nicely baked. We're gonna do a little garlic butter crust. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Nice glaze on each calzone here. Who doesn't like a little butter? Oh, the garlic butter is a secret. That is your secret, That's hey? That's a secret, yeah. It's like icing on the cake. Okay, so we're cutting the calzone. Cut the calzones. Put them on a plate. This is yours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is your half. I'll try yours as well. Okay. I think you're gonna like it. Sweet. Okay. Oh, you're gonna use a knife and a fork? Um, no, you gotta do this the calzone way. Okay. Yeah, straight, just like a sandwich. Yeah, that's right. There you go, ready to go. No, no joking around, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to our calzone. All right. Amazing. That is pretty amazing. You can make one here anytime. And I will. Mm. I love the crust, and I like all my vegetable toppings. Yeah. Or I guess they're Great combination. filling in the calzone. Okay, so Larry, I um, heard a little rumor here that uh, you guys make a clubhouse pizza. We do. And there's no tomato sauce on it? No tomato sauce. Because when I think of pizza, like, you know, traditional pizza, obviously the base is tomatoes. So for a clubhouse pizza, what would you have as the base? We use ranch. Ranch? Ranch dressing, yeah. Okay. Think of it as more of a sandwich than a pizza. Okay, think yeah. of it like a sandwich. Okay, so obviously we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna spread out our dough. Now, this dough's been sitting a little while, so it's already proofed nicely. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just push it out. The dough is pretty easy to work with, so it'll pretty much do all the work by itself. Just go lightly. Now you want to start from the outside, try and work your way in. And what do you do when you get the big air bubbles again? Well, we're going to press those out later on, okay. so we won't worry about that. That tells you that you're a little bit too thin sometimes in spaces. Oh, what are you saying? Well, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> if it's a little too thin, right, somewhere I'll take we'll, it. All right, we'll pinch the ends. Now that we got the dough almost towards the end, we'll pinch them nice towards the corners. How's mine looking? Looking good. Okay. Trusty docker. This is our friend when we have air bubbles. Give it a little dock. Can you over dock it? Can't over dock it. Do it as much as you want. Take out all your anger and stress on that. Okay, there we go. There you go. Ranch. You just get it right get in there, hey? Yeah, I like to get it look pretty. Our chicken, which is a staple on a clubhouse. Absolutely. On an extra large, we use two full, two full cups. Okay. Spread, try and get to the outside and work your way in. Um, oh, now you tell me. Yeah, sorry about that. I still have, I'm still on the outside here. Yeah, Can't it's tell. All good. it's looking good. You guys are generous with your cheese. Well, well. No one likes a stingy cheese topping <laughs> pizza. Right up here. Tomatoes. Okay. How generous are we being with these tomatoes? I know. Whatever. Yeah, it'd be nice. No one wants to be left out. Bacon. Okay, bacon. Bacon's usually on a clubhouse. Bacon makes everything better. Yeah, and you can use all of that bacon there. I am going to. Years, yeah. Definitely. Okay, so am I ripping the bacon or? Usually we'll rip it in half. Okay. And, um, and then just place it around anywhere you like. Okay, the bacon tastes good. Get funky, make a design. I have to say my favorite part to a club is the bacon. <laughs> Sprinkle the cheddar for some color. There we go. Right. Let's show off our clubhouse pizzas. Our clubhouse pizzas are finally done. Now this is the one, if you'll remember, with the ranch dressing. Correct. So now we're gonna add some love, right? Yeah, a little bit of our love glaze at the end. 
This really is your secret touch, isn't it? This is completely icing on the cake. This is like the perfect end to a perfect evening if you're out in the village. Let's cut it up here. Clubhouse pizza. I have to say, this is a new one for me. Can't say I've ever had ranch dressing oh, on a pizza before. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, here we go. Cheers, Larry. All right, cheers. Woo. You know what? I didn't think I was gonna be crazy about the Clubhouse pizza, but I actually really like it. Par party in your mouth? It is a party in my mouth. I uh, particularly like the bacon, but also the two cheeses. Amazing. Uh-huh. Definitely a good call on the Clubhouse pizza. <laughs> Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204 599 3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Okay, so now we're doing pulled pork. Now, d pulled pork is definitely something that I have never had on a pizza. I've never even had it in a calzone. How did you come up with the pulled pork pizza? Uh, pulled pork pizza was actually a really weird one we came up with. Uh, we're all sitting having lunch and we're having, ironically, we're having nachos for lunch. Okay. And they brought out nachos with pulled pork on them. And we're like, hey, this might be really good on a pizza. So why not? And we just went from there, yeah. Okay, let's watch this uh, masterpiece here. All right. Sauce is uh, basic tomato sauce. We add a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of basil, oregano. Keep it simple, keep it fresh. And that's a good thing too because you have so many flavors on the pizza already that it's nice to have a, just a basic tomato sauce. Yeah. I find, I find some places they try to jazz up their sauce so much that it almost takes away from the pizza. Yeah, sometimes less is more. Absolutely. Definitely. Especially with a pulled pork pizza. Definitely. Now we'll start with our pulled pork. Uh, we really generous with this. Um, we want everybody to, you know, have almost like, a, like an at-home meal. You know, I have a pulled pork for dinner and stuff like that. You know. See, pulled pork to me reminds me of something that 
I grew up in the country and we used to have harvest days and we would, you know, put the pulled pork on in the morning, everyone would work all day, and then we'd come and have pulled pork at night. Yeah. So this is like kind of like comfort food pizza, hey? Definitely. It's braised uh, for a while in the slow cooker. Um, I think they do it for a good 24 hours wow. um, before it's pulled off the bone. Um, really nice, high quality stuff here. Now we'll do our cheese. Get some banana peppers, spice it up a little bit. And add a little bit of color. A little bit of color as well. Jazz it up. Gives it a nice little kick. Then we'll pop it off with a little bit of more color. Perfect. A little bit of diced up. I think, I think Baby's getting excited to eat some pizza. Yeah, <laughs> we're teasing him. We are or teasing. Her. Him or her, we don't know. <laughs> We don't know who we're having. All right, so. we're ready to go. Get okay, the oven. In the oven. Here we go. All right. If there's anything that represents comfort food, it's definitely the pulled pork pizza. Would you say? Totally. Yeah. Totally. Does Amazing. this remind you of, you know, being snuggled up on the couch with your little puppy and at grandma's when you were a kid? Yeah, when she used to raise the pulled pork all day, call everyone in for dinner. And you smell Thanks. it in the house. Yeah, now you smell family it. tradition. Now you smell it little pizza heaven every day. You got it. What's better than that? <laughs> Okay, so this one is our pulled pork pizza. Yeah, all down, about comfort. All about comfort. Down the hatch. Mmm. That barbecue pork is really nice. Super nice. Super tender, super delicious. It melts in your mouth. And it, it melts in your mouth. I couldn't say it better myself. <laughs> Okay, up next we are making your favorite pizza. Now this is the Mexicano pizza, right? It is. Okay, so what's on the Mexican? Uh, basically traditional Mexican ingredients uh, are ground beef, uh, green peppers, tomatoes, onions, a little jalapeno for some kick, and cheddar. So, Lara, were you just hanging out on the beach one day in Mexico, drinking your cold cerveza, thinking, I'm gonna put this whole atmosphere on a pizza? Yeah, I was like, this is really fun. Let's uh, let's bring let's bring this fun home. There, with some margaritas. Yeah, you got it. And some. Senoritas. There you go, now we're talking. Okay, so now we're adding all the love on this bad boy, aren't we? Yeah, we'll start with our base, the sauce. Paint our new canvas here. Have our ground beef. Do you know any fun Mexican words? Uh, pretty much said most of them in that opening there. <laughs> <laughs> Only the ones that count. There you go. Yeah. You, you can get by in Mexico. Yeah. Okay, so we have our beef on here. Yeah, our ground beef. You're well, definitely not stingy with the beef, which is nice to see. No. We'll add our green pepper. And we'll add our cheese now. So why do you think people love this pizza so much? <sighs> you know, I mean... It's just like something different? Taste, you know, taste out of the box, something that's not usually ordinary around. I mean, I don't know too many places that do a Mexican pizza. Well, it's, yeah, it's one of those things like when you think of pizza, you definitely don't think of Mexican flavors. Definitely. So it's nice that you guys are doing something out of the box. Yeah, we try, we try. We try to cater to a lot of different kind of palates. Okay, so here we have some red onion. Some red onion, nice and diced up. Some jalapenos going. This literally is like a taco on a pizza. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Cheddar for some color. And we're good to go. Perfect. Straight and to the oven. There we have our Mexican love. Mexican love on the beach. Mexican love on the beach. In the oven it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All we need is some cervezas. And we're going to go, you're going to have two for me. Yeah, definitely. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, we're doing the Mexican dance. Come Mexican on. Mexican dance. Okay, Sweet. we have our Mexican pizza here. It's a fiesta in here. Yeah. Okay, joining us is Dave Fox. Now, he is the owner of A Little Piece of Heaven. So, he's going to have some pizza with us. You're going to chop this one up? Trim.
before you try this, we're just going to uh, make you an honorary team member here. Oh, a team we member. Oh, is this uh, mandatory, the toque? Yeah. Okay. Just like you, Larry? Just like me. Okay, here we go. You're one of the elves now. Do you, uh, how does it look? That's I look amazing. okay? It looks awesome. Okay, cheers, guys. Cheers. Here's a little piece of heaven for everyone. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Not too spicy, just enough kick. But I love the ground beef. <clears throat> All the fresh veggies on here taste great. Absolutely. As you can see, nice colorful pizza. Definitely great if you have a nice cold beer. Or for me, maybe a nice glass of milk. <laughs> Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204 599 3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Okay, so up next we have the jerk chicken pizza. Okay, tell me a little bit about this pizza. Uh, basically a little bit of Caribbean. Oh, a little a bit of Caribbean in there. Pizza, yeah. Definitely. So, is there a fun story to go with this pizza? Uh, Come on. Honestly, think of one. I wish there was a really fun story. I was just sitting around being bored one day, and uh, this already sounds threw this, lame. Kind of threw this together. Yeah, I was just like, hmm, trying to think of new ideas. You know, I guess it is lame when I'm at home and all I'm doing is thinking about pizza. Well, I guess that's <laughs> what you do. Start with our sauce. So what would happen if you oversauced it? It's gonna be a lot sloppier. Um, usually a sauce, a sauce isn't really an ingredient, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a, a base. extra. Yeah, it's an extra. It's just something that makes your experience a little brighter. Makes your experience a little brighter. That should be a company tagline <laughs> for something. All right, then we'll use our, <laughs> we'll start, we'll get our chicken going. Okay. Um, now I have some already done up in a, in a bag here. Okay, um, and that's add, your barbecue roasted chicken. This is our jerk chicken. Jerk this is our chicken. barbecue roasted chicken with some jerk sauce. Um, we'll usually load up the bag, we'll let it sit and marinate, usually overnight. Now I have some in the fridge here that I got ready for today. Jerk sauce, tell me a little bit about it. Jerk sauce, a uh, little bit of spice to it, peppercorn in there. 
You can definitely see the peppercorn in there. Uh, not too spicy, um, just a little bit of a zip. Yep. Um, and then later on, we're going to add some sweet to it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll spread on our chicken. Now, do, does anyone find this a really to be a really spicy pizza? Uh, not too bad. Not as spicy as the Mexican um, would be. Um, kind of just a good balance between sweet and savory. A little kick. Got it. Everybody loves cheese. And our generous two cups we use for this. Now it's our sweet time. And we'll add some pineapple to this. That's where you get your nice sweet and savory kicks. You know what's one of my favorite kind of pizzas? Oh. Pineapple and bacon. Nice. I like the ham, but I think the bacon has more of a salty kick, which goes, I think, awesome with pineapple. Bacon on anything. I and I do. <laughs> anything. Yeah. Add a little color with some onion, red onion. And then we'll top all off with a tiny bit of feta. I love feta. A little bit of salt in there, a little bit of salty to it. There we go. Okay, and there we have it the jerk yeah. chicken pizza. Amazing. Ready for the oven. In the oven it goes. Now you know where to come if you're craving Mexican, Caribbean, or straight up Italian. A little pizza heaven has all these flavors and a whole lot more. You're gonna love it. Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you.